You want to know what I think really goes on behind the scenes when you, as a potential new client, call an attorney's office to see whether or not you have a valid case? Come join me on this walk through the neighborhood as I share with you a spoof of what I think often goes on when a new potential client calls an attorney's office to see whether they have a valid case. I am Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. It's a beautiful day today here in Great Neck. It is New Year's Eve. And I had a few minutes to share this interesting and spoof-filled variation of a video today. My daughter and I were talking, and we were talking about what happens when somebody calls an attorney's office to find out whether or not they have a valid case. And many times, the injured person who's calling to see whether they have a case does not understand and does not really know exactly what the law firm or the attorney or the intake specialist is looking for when they are asked questions about what happened. Many times the person who's calling thinks that they need to divulge and tell the person on the other end of the call every single minute detail of every single event that happened to them leading up to the wrongdoing and leading up to the injury. When in fact, just the opposite is true. So imagine, and again, this is a spoof, and I'm not pointing to any one particular firm, but I know that this happens. Somebody on the other end of the call will say, hey, Mrs. Jones, when did this happen? And now, instead of answering the question directly, the injured person calling says, hey, you know what? And now they proceed to tell them 10 minutes worth of information that has nothing to do with the answer whatsoever. And the person on the other end of the call has nothing else to do except to say, uh-huh, yes, I understand. That's very interesting. Tell me more. When in fact, in reality, no, 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 they don't want to know that. Why? Because they just don't care. Now, when I say they just don't care, it means they don't care about you. They don't care about all those little details. In that one question, when did the wrongdoing happen? There's only one thing that they need to know. When did the wrongdoing happen? Was it today? Was it three weeks ago? Was it January 2nd? Was it December 2nd? They just want to know when. That's it. They will ask many, many, many follow-up questions. So when you proceed to tell them at length about all the events that led up to when the wrongdoing happened, guess what? They just don't care. And that's the reality. And nobody, nobody is going to share that information with you. Not on a phone call, not in a video, not in a blog, not on a website, not here, not there, not anywhere, as Dr. Seuss likes to say in Green Eggs and Ham. Okay, so what happens next? What happens next is that typically the person on the other end, the intake specialist or the attorney, will now ask the question, okay, Mrs. Jones, where did this happen? And instead of answering the question directly about where this happened, the caller is now going to go ahead and explain for the next 10 minutes about every detail that happened leading up to where this actually happened. And you know what? The person on the other end of the call is going to try and be polite. Yes, I understand. That's very interesting. Thank you. Tell me more. When in reality, they just don't care. They don't care about all the little details leading up to the answer to that question. Do you want to know why? It's because the initial call is a screening call. It's designed to try and identify, number one, whether your case is actually timely. Number two, they need to know where in the geographic vicinity this actually occurred. And importantly, they want to know, was this in a private doctor's office, a private hospital? Was it in a municipal hospital, a state hospital? Because that will be important for the attorney to know to determine whether or not your matter is actually timely. So the person on the other end of the call just doesn't care about all the details that happened to you. They just want a simple, straightforward answer to their question. Where did this happen? Oh, this happened at this municipal hospital here in the Bronx. Okay, now they have the answer and they will ask you many follow-up questions. All right, what happens next when they just don't care? The next question you are likely to be asked is, all right, what happened to you? What injury did you suffer as a result of all this wrongdoing? And now you proceed to tell them for the next 15 minutes every single detail about every single event that led to the wrongdoing and now all the horrible things that happened and all your family members chimed in and now they're going to sit on the phone with you and say, yes, I understand. Thank you. That's terrible. That's awful. When in reality, come on, say it with me, they just don't care. It's true. 
They don't care about all the details that lead up to the actual answer to the question. You want to know why? It's because they just want the answer to that question, which is, what injury did you suffer? Which is, what actual injury did you suffer as a result of the wrongdoing? Did you lose a limb? Did you require surgery? Will you need surgery in the future? Are you unable from doing certain activities? Everything else is not important right now and is meaningless. And the person on the other end of the call will not tell you and they will not come out and tell you because they're too polite to say, we just don't care. Don't tell us about all those inane details. We may want to know about them later on if we think you actually have a valid case, but for now, don't tell me all those details. Instead, you can shorten this perspective call. Instead of a half hour, 40 minute call, 45 minute call, you can shorten this down into just a few brief minutes. How? By answering only the question that you are asked. It is critically important so that even though you don't know exactly what information the attorney and the law firm is looking for to determine whether or not you have a valid case, pay very close attention to what they are asking for. And by doing that, they will recognize not only are you able to listen to instructions, but importantly, you're able to provide them with critical information that they need to know in order to decide whether or not to invite you in or to go ahead and talk to you further. But the moment you get on the call and start telling them about every single detail of every single event that happened to you leading up to the wrongdoing and leading up to where it happened and when it happened and what injuries you suffered, guess what? They just don't care. And that's the reality that nobody's going to share with you. So why do I tell you this is a spoof? I tell you this is a spoof because nobody's going to share the information that as they're listening and they're telling you, yes, oh, that's very interesting. Oh, I understand. And now they're trying to be empathetic with you to feel for you for what you had to go through. The reality is that they just don't care about all those details, at least not yet. So don't think for a second that because somebody keeps you on the phone for 45 minutes, getting all the details of every single thing that happened leading up to your injuries, leading up to the wrongdoing, that that means it's going to help them evaluate whether or not to invite you in and spend more time with you to see truly whether you have a valid case. So why do I share this quick behind the scenes spoof with you? I share it with you because you know what? It's New Year's Eve. I have a few minutes to share this great information and nobody ever talks about it. People think that simply because a doctor did something wrong or they perceive that a doctor did something wrong, that automatically it means they have a valid case. And now they have this verbal diarrhea conversation with somebody on the telephone and now they think even more, excellent, I told them everything that they need to know in order for them to decide whether I have a valid case. Well, not really answer the question that they are asking and that will help you in the long run. You know, I realize you likely have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, I can tell you right now that if you call my office to talk to me or to ask me whether or not you have a valid case, I may just turn around and say, we just don't care, Mrs. Jones. Just tell me the answers to those questions and then I can tell you whether or not we care. How's that for a behind the scenes spoof on New Year's Eve? No, truly, if you have questions, pick up the phone and call me. You know we answer questions like yours every single day and I'd love to chat with you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a fantastic day and a fantastic new year.